In this video by ABN Painting, we are doing preparation work, minor repairs in concrete, and painting exterior of a house. And this is the look of the house before we started preparation work. We start by pressure washing the house. Paint the spilling in a wood trim we scrape by hand using a putty knife. After we scrape the paint that was peeling, we are filling cracks using latex caulk. We squeeze it out of the tube using caulking gun and then using a brush with wet bristles we spread it evenly. To protect concrete floors and brick pavers from overspray, we run 12-inch masking tape all around the house. This house has a lot of cracks with peeling paint around the edges, and before we repair the cracks, we need to get rid of any paint that is peeling. This is the same area after the peeling paint was removed. On the front of the house, where is just a little bit of paint peeling, we are using an orbital sander with a 40 grit sanding paper to get rid of any loose paint. On the back of the house, where the paint is spilling extensively, we are using a wire brush attached to angle grinder. To fix medium sized cracks on concrete, we are using latex caulk. And for all hairline cracks, we are using elastomeric patch that we apply with a mini roller. To fix larger holes in concrete, first we attach paper, then chicken wire, and then apply cement mix on top. After we applied the first coat of cement mix, we are using a wet sponge to blend it in. And after it is dry, we apply the second coat of cement mix. After the second coat, we use wet sponge again. After the area is dry, we are using sander to blend it in a little more. There are a few smaller holes that we are using the same cement mix to repair. There are a few cracks on this house that are fairly large and we are using cement mix to repair those. For larger cracks, uh, elastomeric patch or latex caulk would not be the best choice. After we finished with all repairs, we're masking windows. To protect the drip edge near the roof from overspray, we are covering it using tape and paper. All the ceilings that have natural wood that will not be painted were covered with paper and tape. We masked off the side gate, put tarps on top of the 12 inch masking paper to cover the floor further. And now the house is ready for spray painting.
in the backyard this detached fireplace and a barbecue pit that never been painted before and we're using a primer first to make sure that the paint adheres properly. After we're done with spot priming, we're using an airless sprayer to spray paint the entire house one color. After we were done with the first coat of paint, we went around looking for cracks that we might have missed during the repair process, and after fixing those, we applied the second coat. And this is the look of the house after we're done with touch-ups and clean-up.